Greetings, my friends. Oh, I can't remember when I posted to you last. Maybe it was after I had a visit from the hospice nurse. Today, the, the social worker came and my favorite pastime is to sleep. <laughs> and so she got here when I was still asleep and uh, I had to wake up and hurriedly get ready and meet her out in the, in the living room. You'll have to excuse my hair. I'm afraid it's always going to be like this. In Deer Park, we have static electricity, and it just sticks to my head or sticks straight up. And it's pretty short now, just... Because it's e easier to wear my mask with it short. Um, what is there to update you on? Well, all my family's gone except for Ben. He's here working. Um... He's delivering suitcases for Southwest to all those customers <laughs> that got stranded. So he's keeping very, very busy. And he could work out of Billings, but he wanted to be here in near Spokane so he could be close to me. And for which I'm thankful. Uh, I do see Betty Ann on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. She comes and spends oh, about five hours with me. And just we visit and talk. And if there's anything she needs done, she'll, she'll gladly do it. And... She's going to make me some Christmas cookies this Wednesday. I love those snowballs, and I didn't get any this year, so she's going to make some. And I have a dear friend who's sending me these absolutely stunningly delicious cheesecakes and uh, I've been enjoying them and it, <laughs> it's helping me keep me my weight up and if she she asked if I'd like some more <laughs> and Annie said tell her yes yes so uh looks like we'll be enjoying some more cheesecakes as well um i don't know what it is but it's tim's hamburgers that i love i used to love mcdonald's hamburgers not anymore they taste awful to me but tim's been making hamburgers every couple of times a week and they taste so good so i've been enjoying those and my daughter-in-law left some soup before she went home and i had that tonight and it was so good so i don't eat a lot but i do eat and what i get to eat is is delicious
and uh, my nurse is now going to start coming on Wednesdays. We switched nurses just because this area is getting busier and and I really enjoy her and my so social worker and my social worker's daughter attends my church so that was kind of fun to hear and um I uh I'm just, I can feel myself getting weaker, especially in my arms. I'm going to start having uh, bath help, so that's nice. Because it's really hard to, to scrub my hair. and I can brush my teeth, and that's okay, but... I'm getting my hair washed and and uh, combing it is kind of hard and I have these elastic waisted pants, long pants and they're getting really hard to pull up and what I usually, usually do is wear just a pair of elastic shorts that go down to my knees and they're easy to get off and on. My husband just came in. Is there anything you wanted to say? Bread and butter. Bread and butter? Oh. <laughs> um. Kind of code for, uh, uh, what, it was code that he just spoke to me. Um, well, things are going to pick up as far as, uh, hospice. I'll have, I'll have the social worker on Mondays and the nurse on Wednesdays and the bath aid on Mondays and Thursdays, so I'm going to have to make sure I get up in time for all the, for all the activity that's going to be happening. But, uh, I think I'm going to say goodnight and I just wish you all a good rest of the week. And I don't need to remind you that you are loved greatly by the Lord. And me also, so... Thanks for your prayers, and I love the little notes I get. I have now 415 YouTube followers, and you guys can leave me notes via email, and I appreciate that. It's very encouraging. So, anyway, good night. Sleep well. I know I will. <laughs> I'll sleep till noon if nobody gets me up. So anyway. Take care and uh, I'll talk to you again soon.